What is going on ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Prodigy and welcome to another video on the channel. Today guys, we're going to be covering finally the Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Ulta Mania. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this for a very, very long time as Birth by Sleep was like the game changer title for the entire Kingdom Hearts series, becoming many people's favorites and becoming one of the most memorable Kingdom Hearts games to date still. Now, this took a while to produce for various reasons. I am currently working out a moving situation. I'm going to be moving to a brand new house soon. So that's a big reason why there have not been as many uploads in October. Don't worry though, I will be all moved in, settled in by the time Melody of Memory releases, so I'll be perfectly able to cover that. But the moving situation has been a big reason why the Birth by Sleep Ultimania has taken a little bit to get started. It's been over a month now since we last finished the day's Ultimania, and I had a good time covering that. And I've often said that the Birth by Sleep Ultimania has been one of the things I've been looking forward to the most because you could say a lot of what we see now in the Kingdom Hearts series all started with Birth by Sleep. But there is a lot of translations for the Birth by Sleep Ultimania. I'm just going to be covering them as I see them, kind of in order. It's hard to say because the Birth by Sleep translations, while there are a lot of them for the Ultimania, are kind of scattered around. And from my interpretation, it seems like they want a different route with the Birth by Sleep Ultimania, aside from the traditional Main No More Interview Scenario Mysteries route. But I will cover all of the interviews that I can from this Ultimania from Tetsuo Nomura. But without further ado though, we're going to do the normal amount of questions today. As similar to other Ultimanias, this is labeled in categories based off of the topic. So uh, let's get right into this. So how do you start development on Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep? Well, I usually start by thinking about the gameplay, but for Birth by Sleep, I started by writing out the plot for the scenario. The scenes on Destiny Island with Terra and Riku speaking, and Aqua speaking to both Sora and Riku were ideas I had written down from the first. I wanted to make those scenes a reality so badly that I wrote out a development proposal and I had the plot in mind from way back at the end of development on Kingdom Hearts 2. You had planned on having the climax scene of Birth by Sleep with the secret movie of Kingdom Hearts 2 FM from the start? Yes, but I had yet decided on when the scene would happen during Birth by Sleep. When we created the secret movie for Kingdom Hearts 2 FM, we didn't know how big of a game we would be able to put on PSP, and we hadn't yet decided how long the scenario would be. We didn't know if we would put that scene at the end, or if we wouldn't be able to fit it in and not add it at all. Or maybe if there was space, would we be able to show what happened after it. You used parts of the secret movie in the opening of the game, right? I talked with Nomatsu, the cinematic movie director, about the opening movie, and we decided that we wanted the movie to show what would happen during the story. For Kingdom Hearts 2, we showed what had happened in the story so far, but we couldn't do that with BBS because nothing had happened before it. <laughs> Yeah. So Nomura seemed to have developed that entire game pretty much around the scenes in Destiny Islands with each of the characters. Which is really cool because he basically developed a whole like game in mind for this passing the torch moment that would happen. And that was definitely one of the best moments in Birth by Sleep, seeing each of the characters kind of interact with Sora and Riku. And it's really cool that Riku kept that secret all that time as well. Also, the entire hype for Birth by Sleep could be summed up to that secret movie at the end of Kingdom Hearts 2 FM. Knowing that that was a game that was going to be, you know, about what we saw in that secret movie just added so, so much hype. And seeing that being recreated in-game was, like, super cool. I think one of the things we can all praise about Birth by Sleep is how each of their stories ended and how they built upon that for future games and for Kingdom Hearts 3. They did a really good job at ending every single character's story uh, the way they did and making it very interesting, setting up a plot line for future games to follow off of. But uh, moving along, though, how did you decide on the subtitle Birth by Sleep? Honestly, I just wanted to use the word by in the title. Game subtitles always have of or is in them, but I started to think about how by just wasn't used very much. The localization staff told me that it isn't used in titles very often, but our producer who was good English said there was no problem with it, so I didn't think it would be that odd to use it. 
Also, I thought it would be interesting to use another internet word like in Chain of Memories and Coded. And I wanted to make it be shortened as BBS, Electronic Bulletin Board, which connects people. And I wanted to put the word sleep in the title as well, so it became Birth by Sleep. So how was it decided that the Osaka team would be working on development? When I had written out the development proposal, the usual Kingdom Hearts team had already been decided on to work on Final Fantasy Versus 13. Yikes. And so we started thinking about leaving it to another team. That's when the Osaka team came up to us and said, we'll be able to make a better game than any of the other teams, so please let us work on it. Then they made a test version for us with Sora, Donald, and Goofy running smoothly, so we thought we'd leave it to them. At the time, we had just started development on Crisis Core, and the team was having some trouble working on the PSP. We showed them the work the Osaka team had done on the test version, and said, look at how much you can do on the PSP. So, pausing right quick there, really funny how Nomura, from the way he's like describing it, he kind of just came up with Birth by Sleep. It wasn't like a super big plan for it to be Birth by Sleep, like, no, this is the perfect title. It was more so like, word by word, he was he just decided individually on what words to put in the title, and Birth by Sleep happened to be the combination he came up with. And it's funny that it became that way, because the word birth by sleep is so like important to the overall story of the game and another uh versus 13 mention here as well it's very sad how that game turned out man but uh you can see that the osaka team ended up working on this game mostly because the kingdom hearts team was already working on final fantasy versus 13 at the time and we unfortunately saw how that turned out it's very funny though how osaka came up and they said we'll be able to make a better game than any of the other teams so please let us work on it and i know a lot of people disagree with that one however though birth by sleep when it did first come out it was honestly a lot of people's favorite kingdom hearts game it was mine for a short period of time as well but as you know time went on and on the PSP game didn't age nearly as well as the PS2 console games of Kingdom Hearts 2 and 1 personally. Birth by Sleep though still is up there with some of the best Kingdom Hearts titles. And it could really go either way for which one's your favorite because all of them are really great. But it's very interesting how confident they were. I like to see that in a team though, you really do. Ooh, now here are some of the uh, command deck questions. We're just going to read through the last four questions. The gameplay this time specializes in command. Was this your idea? Yes it was. Was. the command deck was in the development plans from the first we thought if we simplified the deck system that we use in chain of memories we could make it a lot more exciting we also took the command charging system from the ones with you so that you'd have to wait after using a command before using it again we wanted to put these two systems together and evolve them even more while the manual charging system with chain of memories has a bit of freedom to it with the automatic charging system we wanted to make you sweat you thought it would be fun to have have you run around trying to escape the enemy while waiting for Kiraga to charge thinking hurry 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 so they wanted you to struggle huh the command board was also another one of your ideas wasn't it I've always loved board games when I was little my father would make dice games for me and I would copy him and make my own because of that I've always wanted to make a board game part of the gameplay system in the Final Fantasy series they have the spear grid which is a board game like system for growth but I wanted to take it even further and make a dice game that could be played by itself and that's how I thought up the command board you also add the dimension link system into the mix in both Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts 2, Don and Goofy fought alongside you. But with the PSP, it would have been difficult to have lots of characters moving at once. So instead of having your friends alongside you, we decided that you could just borrow their power from distance, which created the Dimension Link. And final question for today's video, it's fun that you can even link to other players through wireless. The Osaka team came up with the idea of linking through wireless. It was the last thing we decided on for the Dimension Link system. The theme of the story is connection so we felt it would be proper to allow you to connect to other players via dimension link it was also the idea of the Osaka team to have Ventus link to Vanitas. I really liked that they managed to incorporate part of the game system into the storyline. I thought they did an excellent job. That is one way to look at it though. I really like that. 
now that you point that out. Uh, the command deck is a very interesting system. I think the command deck is definitely missing some things. I'm not personally a fan of the charging thing that the command decks have. I don't mind gauges or resource management in Kingdom Hearts games, but I wouldn't necessarily count command decks recharging as resource management because it's something you can easily bypass given the proper setup. It tends to be more of a nuisance in gameplay rather than something you feel like you have to keep track of. But the command deck for the PSP and for the DS, I definitely think works pretty well. I 100% prefer the command menu of Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, Days, and 3, but the command deck for a handheld Kingdom Hearts game, I think definitely works a lot better because the command menu in Days doesn't feel as, I guess, good because it's on a DS, so I definitely prefer the command deck when it comes to handheld Kingdom Hearts games. When it comes to console ones, I definitely think the Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, 3 style works the best. But uh, I never knew that about the command deck though. They actually incorporated the Worlds with You uh, elements or they were inspired by the Worlds with You's uh, gameplay system for the command deck a little bit and mix it in with Chain of Memories, which is a very bizarre combination, I won't lie. I haven't played the Worlds with You, haven't been in it. I definitely plan to sometime soon. I likely will get towards uh, beating it sometime before the end of this year or early next year, but I'm definitely expecting expecting some Worlds With You announcements soon, and if they do end up tying the Worlds With You into Kingdom Hearts like I'm kind of expecting, then I'm definitely going to have to play, and it will likely be on live stream, so I look forward to that. Now, I actually really, really enjoy the Link system in Birth by Sleep. I think, despite it not being a traditional summon system, it's one of the best in the Kingdom Hearts series. I like Kingdom Hearts 1 summons, but a lot of them just aren't like as fun to use personally as the ones in Kingdom Hearts 2. They're not not as intuitive. Links in a Birth by Sleep, while all of them do like kind of similar-ish things, I like that all of them have very unique finishers and it's like access to a whole different like category of abilities, attacks that you would otherwise never use in Birth by Sleep. And I never actually tested it out with uh, using like my friends links at all because i never really got a chance to play birth by sleep multiplayer uh on the original psp so i never got to test that stuff out so i really wonder how that would have been but the link system is just a ton of fun i love it so so much and i think a system like that in a modern kingdom hearts game could have so many uses but the osaka team truly did do a pretty great job with birth by sleep i know a lot of people like complain about the gameplay of birth by sleep nowadays but that just kind of comes with age i personally still enjoy it a lot and i've been exploring it a lot lately actually because i've been testing out some stuff for like combo contest which is still ongoing by the way and there's some pretty cool stuff you can do on the bosses in that game that i really like but uh that's going about do for today's video though guys uh, i really did enjoy this read uh, a lot of interesting things came out this i'm going to try to binge record these so i can have these uh uploading like as i'm packing and um i don't think we'll have this series done before uh melody of memory comes out but i'll aim i'll aim for that i guess we'll just have to see what happens but definitely before november ends the birth by sleep ultimania series will likely be done and then we'll move on to the next game which i believe is recoded but we have a lot of more videos to go until then so uh yeah the ultimania for birth by sleep is going to be around for a decent bit i'll have to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed be sure to leave a like share the video with a friend or family member and last but not least if you have not already and want to become a part of the union all you have to do is set the red little subscribe button down below my name is prodigy and i will talk to you guys soon peace out you guys bye